guys, Mr. Backwork here. In this video, we're going to look at finding the volume of pyramids and cones. So as we're looking at finding the volume of either a pyramid or a cone, because the shapes are so similar, they do have the same exact formula in order to find their volume. So whether we're dealing with a base at some sort of polygon, a triangle, a square, a regular polygon, or whether that base is a circle in the case of a cone, the volume formula is going to be exactly the same. We take one-third times the area of the base times the height. So in this example, we've got a square pyramid with lengths of three centimeters on those base edges of our square. And we've got this height of four centimeters running down the middle of our pyramid. Now the height that we're going to use to calculate volume is a little bit different than the slant height, which we use to calculate surface area. The height that we're going to be using runs from the apex, which is the top vertex of our pyramid or cone, perpendicular directly down to the base. So that's the kind of height that we're going to use in order to calculate the volume. So in order to find the volume of this pyramid, first thing we're going to need is the area of the base. Since it's a square with side lengths of three, we can think about it as base times height or length times width. Either way, we're taking three times three. So we get nine as that area of the base. And then I mentioned that we were going to use that height of four that runs from our apex down to the bottom of our base. So if we look at plugging these into our formula, we're going to go one third times the area of the base, which is nine, times the height of our pyramid, which is four, now if we do one third times nine, we get three. And then if we do three times four, we end up with a volume of 12 centimeters cubed. Remember, anytime we're dealing with volume problems, it gets a cubed on the label. Example two is a cone. We've got a radius of five feet and our height is seven feet. So as we're looking at finding our volume, first thing we need is the area of the base. Since our base figure is now a circle with the cone, we have to do pi times the radius squared. Five squared is 25, and then 25 times pi is about 78.54. And then our height we mentioned was gonna be that seven foot length running up and down from the apex perpendicular to the base. So now if we plug these into our formula, we've got one third times the area of that base times our height of seven. If I were to type that into my calculator, I would get 183.26, and we need to throw a label on here, feet cubed, since we're dealing with volume. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.